so yesterday i spent like 2 hours last night watching my first ever videos which i haven't really done i recently talked about how i watched a couple of my older videos but that was just from like a year ago and stuff but yesterday i went all the way back to the beginning and watched like my first 10 15 videos for like an hour or something and it was so crazy to see how much has changed and how many things are different like i was just a little baby about to go back to for my second year of college i had just met shane and now i'm getting married to him like I, it just felt really nostalgic like everything and it just made me so glad that i'm doing youtube because i have all these things to look back on and i just have these little memories that have been documented and on my channel from my life that i can also go look back on and it was just so special because i was watching like when i was in quarantine living with my mom and how like shy and like quiet i was and i feel like i'm so much more confident now even things like when i first met shane and how shy i was in front of him as well and you can like see me get more and more comfortable and it's crazy how much has changed in the last like almost 4 years of me doing youtube but yeah i just wanted to mention that cuz i felt i was just feeling so nostalgic last night so i was craving pizza i mentioned that i am gluten free and grain free i'm not grain free anymore but i did find out that i have a proper gluten allergy so i have to stay gluten free for my life which is It's okay. It's not bad. I mean, like, it's really not. If I had to be dairy free, I feel like it would be harder. But gluten free is not too bad. But there are a few things that I'm missing, like pizza. I have not found a good gluten free pizza here. So I decided that today I'm gonna try to make my own pizza base. I don't know how well that's gonna go because breads and stuff are so hard to make. Anything that you have to add yeast in, like I've tried to make bread before, and it's been a little bit of a struggle but i'm going to attempt to make my own homemade pizza today pizza base and all because i am craving pizza and i want a gluten free pizza so i just ordered some groceries i thought i would show you the groceries that i got some of it is for the pizza some of it is just for the house i ordered these lemons i love these lemons they're imported lemons and they're so big and nice and juicy and they're organic i got avocado they also sent me free dhania which is great i got some free dhania some mangoes of course and then i got this gourmet jar basil pasta sauce this is the healthiest pasta sauce that i have found which doesn't have preservatives and stuff it does have raw sugar in it which i don't love but the other ingredients are pretty simple it's tomato garlic raw sugar basil leaves tomato paste olive oil salt spices and condiments which it's not the best but out of the options it's the best so i'm going to use this for the sauce for my pizza i also got date powder because when i bake i don't like putting sugar in baked stuff i use date powder instead and then i got this gluten free flour from shar it's like a gluten free flour mix which is what i'm going to use for my pizza base and last more almond milk cuz i'm almost out but those are all the groceries i got i'm going to start to make my pizza base in a bit pizza is ready but because it is gluten free flour it's a little soft like the dough is soft so i'm going to eat it with a fork and knife moment of truth 
Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Like I would probably prefer to be a little crispier. Okay, I put my pizza in the air fryer for like five minutes. It definitely crisped up a little which is good i am going for a movie alone right now i've never ever gone to the movie theater alone but challengers is i think leaving the theater soon and everyone has been telling me to watch it and i've been dying to watch it because i love luca guadagino but everyone i asked to come with me has already seen it or is busy so i was like you know what i'm just gonna go alone today and i've never been to the movie theater alone and i'm an introvert with social anxiety so this is quite possibly my worst nightmare but i'm gonna brave it and go do it so let's go watch a movie alone <laughs> I just got back like 20 minutes ago and Challengers is one of the best actually not even one of it is the best film I have seen in the longest time and it takes a lot for me to say that because I'm very very particular and picky about films but that was just one of the most insanely done films I have ever seen it was just like a visual treat and audible treat like that soundtrack was one of the most banging soundtracks I have ever heard in a movie the cinematography and the angles and shots and color grading like holy shit and the two guys in it are just out fucking standing like wow i i don't know if you can tell i am in shock at how good that was and honestly i had the most enjoyable movie watching experience alone i booked a recliner i got a picked up a popcorn and i sat and watched it by myself and it was just insane i literally walked out of the theater with goosebumps all over my body and it's been a while since that ha has happened to me and for me to say that it is the best film i have seen in a long time takes a lot i highly recommend you guys go watch it because that was just insane <laughs>